Welcome to Thomas International. Are you looking to complete a GI assessment? Or you want to find out more information about the tool? If so, this video is for you. Before we begin, make sure you check the GIA example booklet before completing the assessment. The link is in the description. Please try to complete the assessment in a quiet environment which is completely free from interruptions. Also, remember that both speed and accuracy are equally important. For each part of the assessment, you will have a series of practice questions. On the first section, you will be given a problem-solving task. Each question is about comparing two people. For example, who is heavier or lighter or stronger or weaker than another person. For example, we can see the statement, Bob is not as happy as Paul. The question is, who is Sara? Making you draw a conclusion from the information given. Let's see another example. Carol is not as good as Anne. And the question is, who is worse? From the statement, Carol is not as good as Anne, we can determine that Carol is worse than Anne. The second section to be assessed is perceptual speed. The objective of this task is to identify how fast and accurate you are in checking things in your head. Your goal for this series of questions will be to identify how many of the pairs of letters match. In this example, we can see that none of the pairs match, so zero is the correct answer. Let's see another example. In this instance, we can see the pairs containing the letter D and the letter H match, making the correct answer two pairs. The third task measures your speed and accuracy in carrying out number tasks in your head. For each question presented, start by finding the highest and the lowest of the three numbers displayed. Having identified those, decide whether the highest number or the lowest number is numerically further away from the remaining number. Let's have a look at an example. In this case, we can see three numbers, where 11 is the lowest and 16 is the highest. 13 is the remaining number. This means that 11 is 2 away from 13, but 16 is 3 away from 13, making 16 the correct answer. Let's look at another example. In this case, we have 3 being the lowest number and 9 being the highest number. The remaining number is 7. 3 is 4 away from 7 and 9 is 2 away from 7. 3 is the correct answer. The fourth section of the assessment is a task to see how quickly you can spot the odd word out in a group. You will be given three words. Two of the three will be related in some way, and the third is the odd one out. Each time, decide which word is the odd one out and click on it. Let's look at some examples. We have three words, new, old, and entice. New and old relate to time. Entice is the odd one out. In the next example, we can see unusual, odd, and war. Odd and unusual are synonyms. War is the odd word out. The last task is designed to see how quickly you can rotate shapes or symbols in your head. Some symbols are paired with exactly the same symbol and some are paired with a mirrored image. Your task is to see and count how many boxes contain a matching pair and then circle that number. In this example, we can identify that the pair on the right is a matching pair, while the pair on the left is a mirrored image. In this second example, we can see that both pairs contain mirrored images. The answer then is zero. Be sure to check the candidate area 
in thomas.co before completing the assessment. If you need more information, make sure you click on the description to obtain a complimentary assessment and a sample report. If you would like to find out more about this or any of our other products, please visit our website and get in touch with our team. Remember, we are here to help.